We're joined by Tiffany No Chill Tio, who got off to a dream start in her atom weight debut. Awesome victory over Ritu Pogat via, via submission in the very first round. Tiffany, congratulations. You look ripped in brilliant condition. How did you feel on your atom weight debut? Hi, Andrew. Um, yeah, I feel really great. Um, yeah, I'm glad to get a first round finish and, of course, the 50 Gs bonus. We're going to go across to a text question from the media, which comes from Luisa Morales from Philstar, who asks, did the win vindicate your decision to move down and is Atomweight your new home? Um, I've mentioned this before, so I'm, the main reason why I'm coming down to Atomweight is because I want to fight more often and Atomweight is a really stacked division. Uh, but I'm still keeping my options open at Strawweight, so if any good fights open up, I'm still the top contender at Strawweight. Uh, I'm open to going back to Strawweight and just fighting in both weight categories, yeah. We're going to go across now to Vince Richard from Sports Kida. Vince, your mic is open. Okay. Um, you beat me too in her own in her own game, which is grappling. Um, mm -hmm. How how much confidence did you get from that one, considering um, this is your first fight? Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, there's no doubt that she she's uh, she's a great wrestler and she has been wrestling you know throughout um, her entire. Uh, her childhood and her teenage years so but i've always tried to emphasize on the point that you know it's mixed martial arts that we are talking about we are i'm, I'm not competing against her in a wrestling contest so um, even though she's a really good grappler good wrestler i knew that i'm in the context of mma i'm better than her in everything i knew that i have i, I had superior striking grappling and when it comes to mma wrestling i knew that i could out wrestle her if i had to yeah all right um can i get one more question yeah sure mm, yeah um got your first win first fight at Atom weight um, how many wins how many dominant wins do you need to face angela well um i mean if it's up to me i want to fight her next but i mean it's the matchmakers that makes the call so yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see what happened this weekend. I mean, she's going to fight for the strawweight title too. So who knows? If she wins, I'm I'm the top contender contender at strawweight. So that's the fight to make. I mean, if she if she loses, I'm here at atomic waiting for her. So it has to happen either way. All right. Thanks, Tiffany. Thank you. Our next question comes from Tessa Jasmine's from Business Mirror, who asks, "What prompted the drop down in weight?" Yeah, so um, the main reason was because um, there, there just weren't a lot of uh, fighters at uh, the strawweight division. It was a pretty small pool of talent and I feel like I fought most of them. I pretty much fought everyone in the division and um, I just wanted to be more active. Uh, I feel like I'm in my prime now and I'm hoping to fight as often as I can. And Atomate is a really stacked division, so it just made sense to to drop down to a lower weight cat so that I could be more active in the next couple of years. Our next question comes from Singapore Strike Sports. Go ahead with your question. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, Faris here for SG Strike Sports. Can, do you expect the win at the first round? Yeah, I was hoping to get the, the finish in, the round, in round one. I was hoping for either a knockout or a submission. I was just saying, just flowing of things and see how it's going to play out. You know, it's, if, if she kept striking, I would have uh, gone for a head kick knockout. That was my game plan. So it went to the ground and it went according to plan also. I finished with a rear naked choke, yeah. All right, I want a question. I know you want to fight Angela Lee, mm -hmm. but who else do you like to face in this division? Who else? Um, I'm open to fighting anyone, to be honest. Like, Angela has someone that I've always wanted. It's the fight I've always been calling for since day one. So I feel like it makes the most sense now that I'm fighting in both divisions and I'm one of the top contenders in both divisions. So other than that, you know, I'm open to any good fights that you know, um, the matchmakers have to offer. Like, after my fight against Mong Tua, I call out the whole division and I still stand by what I say. I'm ready to fight anyone. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Next up, we have a text question from Randolph Leongson of Spin.ph who asks, we know who you want next. Who do you think will be the winner of Lee versus Xiong? Um, 
Yeah, that's going to be a tough one to call, right? I mean, both times they fought, it was kind of close and Angela got one and she got one. Um, I'm leaning more towards Xiong just because she has, she has been more active and from, from what I see for the past few fights, she has been fighting primarily grappler and Angela, she's a grappler. I feel like she has gotten very used to that style of, um, of grappling, um, how to like negate the takedowns and how to do damage. And um, I just don't really see um, how the improvements on Angela's end. I mean, she, her last fight was against them. She hasn't been that active for the past few years. So I'm leaning more to the strong for this, yeah. The next question from Randolph is, uh, what are your strengths against Lee? Um, my strengths against Lee? Mm, I think I have superior striking compared to Angela Lee, and I think we are pretty even on the ground. So, um, and I feel like I can mix things up better in terms of MMA, just setting up my takedowns and all. And I feel like I just pose a different threat to her compared to all the other athletes that she has faced. Yeah. Our next question comes in from Jeffrey Who. Jeffrey, your mic is open. Yeah, so um, I, honestly, the questions that I was originally planning on asking, someone already asked them. But, mm -hmm. like, what do you plan on doing, like, once once you win the Adam Wade belt? Well, what, what do I plan to do? I'll... I guess I'll defend the belt and I'll I will try to go for a champ champ and go back to straw weight and get the straw weight belt. Yeah. And also would you like once you win the belt against Angela Lee, would you think like stamped Fairtex would be like say like the next in line to like challenge you for the belt? Mm. Yeah, I'm sure she would be one of the top. She's one of the top few contenders in the atom weight. But the thing is, I don't know, the I was looking through the top the atom weight top five ranking. Kind of just didn't make, make a lot of sense to me. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, she's one of the top ranked contenders, but on the other hand, you see Angela fighting in the straw weight division, even though she's she's I'm not even sure if she's in the top five. You know, she lost to Michelle and she lost to Shong, and now she's contending for the title at straw weight. So I don't think ranking really matters in that sense. It's just, you know, which are the fights to make that make that's entertaining and fans want to watch. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Our next question comes in via text from media member Sanuk, who asks, What differences did you notice competing in Atom Weight? How does an Atom Weight fight compare to a straw weight one for you? Um, the first thing is for sure the diet. I had to diet a lot to make this uh, atom weight. But thankfully, I have the help of a professional nutritionist. Uh, he's based in the US, so he helped me. So John Sasson, he helped me a lot with this, uh, this making this with an atom weight. Um, a, a huge difference I noticed was uh, my speed. I felt like I was a lot faster. I could move a lot faster at a lower weight cat compared to when I was fighting at straw weight. Yeah. But um, interestingly, I think I didn't, I didn't feel like I was losing much strength. So one of my main concerns dropping down to atom weight was um, um, I, w I was afraid that you know I must I might lose some of my strength coming down a lower weight class. But I felt really great throughout the whole camp, and I didn't feel like I lost any strength. Yeah. We'll go across now to Leo from Playmaker SG. Leo, go ahead. Hello. Hi, Tiffany. Hi. Uh, may I know uh, what do you plan to do with the prize money? What do I plan to do with? Oh, the prize money. Oh yeah, I'll probably treat myself, you know, to a good meal after this. Um, and I, don't know, I haven't really thought about it. Um, maybe go on a short trip, a holiday to treat myself. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Ben Imperial from Sports Kida. Go ahead, Ben. All right. So um, there's this possibility. You, you mentioned that you're looking at Sean retaining the straw weight belt, but is there there's a possibility that Angela would come up with a, a two division world champion? If ever that happens, you called out Angela. 
what are you uh, what would you be gunning for the atom weight belt or the straw weight belt yeah so i mean if she wins this weekend she'll be the chair of the straw weight division so yeah um i'm the top content contender at the straw weight i think it makes sense for me to just challenge her for the belt directly yeah i mean if it's the atom weight i might need another fight um at atom weight to get another shot at the academic title i mean it's a stack division so uh, if she wins the belt at strawy i think that's the fight that makes the most sense to make yeah cool thank you thank you next up is a question from atilano diaz from sports key to mma who asks if not angela lee who do you want to fight next who do you think you match up well with Mm. So for the strawweight division, I feel like I fought most of them. I, I mean, it would be cool if I get a rematch with uh, Shou. I, I I believe that the third time will be the charm. And at atomweight, yeah, it's such a stacked division. I don't even I don't even know where to begin with. I think a fight with Jihin or or Stam. I mean, everyone likes like a Singapore versus Mal Malaysia rivalry, right? So I I think that would be a fight that a lot of fans would be interested in. And Stem, um, she she's one of the top um the top contender in the division also. So I think that would be a good fight to have too. Absolutely. To wrap us up, then we have a question from Thai MMA Club's Kun Tirapak, who asks, "Do you have a message for your hometown fans in Singapore?" Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm really I've I've been receiving a lot of messages on IG since my win and. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to reply to all of you and I, I really appreciate, you know, and every fight uh, when there's a live audience, you guys come down to the stadium to support me and even if you don't, you guys are tuning in live and just tagging me on IG, sending me messages before the fight, after the fight and I really appreciate all your support. Thank you. Well, your impressive, massive CV in MMA continues to grow. Another submission victory, <laughs> Tiffany. Superb night's work. Congratulations.